Hey everybody, looks into swirl. New day, new something or other. We have a Wonderlust box. Yay! Now, I don't know anything about what's in here. I have read a couple of people say it's awesome, but I didn't look any farther at their comment. I do know that Hurricane Ida seriously affected Mr. Nola's glitter. They didn't lose their store or anything. They were very lucky, but they had a lot of cleanup to do afterwards. And they didn't get to organize and put the, together the box that was supposed to come for October. So this is um, Mrs. Nola sent out a couple announcements saying basically she was gonna put together a box with some stuff that was in the store. It would be a lot of fun, but it wouldn't be what they had originally planned. So that's all I know about what's in here. And I have uh, already promised myself that we are gonna do something, not just open the box, but we are going to create something with whatever's in here as part of this video. So. <laughs> Let's hope it's not some, you know, humongous project that takes multiple days because that would be a little tough, but let's see what we got. Oh, well, I love it already. Open in case of boredom, Wonderlust Emergency Glitter Kit. Oh, is this my kind of kit or what? Yes. Okay, we have our clear cast. Oh, this looks gorgeous. It's rainbows. I'm all about rainbows. Be a nice human. Relax and accept the crazy. That's a good one. Difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. Oh, here we go. This is appropriate. After every storm, there is a rainbow of hope. That's a very nice set of, of decals. I like that a lot. Collect moments, not things. Well, see, glitter is things, and I like to collect things. <laughs> but I get the sentiment. I get it. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna take everything out and then we will read through our card. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at all the shiny, sparkly stuff. Ah! Marabou. Is there any rainbow? Deep white, okay, okay. Rose gold, all right. Um, postcard. Emergency Glitter Kit, October 2021. This is an alert from the Emergency Glitter Alert System. There's a sparkle warning issued for your area. As many of our traveler, travelers know, August and the beginning of September was not kind to Southeast Louisiana. Many of our crew and community felt significant effects from Hurricane Ida and are still recovering to this day. Throughout hardships, many of us rely on crafting and hobbies to escape from the trials of life. Or oh, actually it says the trails of life, but I, I think they meant trials. Either way. This box was inspired by finding comfort in doing the things you love most and, of course, adding a little sparkle! Yes! We hope it brings you as much joy to use it, and it as it did us to create it. Cool. All right, first thing up, gratitude. Two ounces of a holographic fine mix with iridescent grass green and transparent iridescent flakes in our wonderless jar. Gratitude. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Alrighty, next up is Resilience. When we get through everything, we'll look at the glitters a little more closely. Resilience, two ounces of a fine mix with bold metallic magenta and transparent iridescent flakes packaged in our Wanderlust jar. Very pretty. Inspiration, two ounces of a fine mix with iridescent coral, high flash silver, and transparent iridescent flakes packaged in our Wanderlust jar. That's beautiful. And finally, motivation. Two ounces of a fine mix with metallic light gold and iridescent flakes packaged in our Wanderlust jar. Very pretty. Light gold, it's almost a champagne. That's really, really gorgeous. Okay, creation refillable pens. I'm guessing that is these. A two pack of fine tipped pens to fill with alcohol ink and use on your projects or in your calm and collected postcard books. Okay, so you fill them up, and those are the beads for mixing. Oh, and they have a fine tip. Isn't that nice? That'll be fun. I've never used. I've heard. I've heard a lot about these. I've seen other people use them. I have not used these yet. So cool. Marabou alcohol inks. We've included two of the newest Marabou alcohol inks in deep white and rose gold. Just be sure to stir or shake them really well before you fill up your pens to get the maximum pigment. Calm and collected postcard coloring books. I'm guessing that's what these are. Those are pretty. Indian Summer and Free Spirit. 
these Color It Yourself postcard books are made of thick, high-quality cardstock so you can keep or share your work. The Indian Summer and Free Spirit theme offer a perfect way to escape from reality and find peace in coloring beautiful, intricate designs. Oh, lordy. 20 Bohemian-themed designs. Oh, and they really are postcards, too. So you color these, and then you can send them off to friends, relatives. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> wow. It would take me a little bit of time to color my way through one of these, but oh lordy. But it would be beautiful when it's done, I'm sure. I do love coloring and coloring books, but I tend to I tend to still do kids coloring books because they're, you know, less like this. <laughs> it's just me. Wow. Okay, let's look at the Indian Summer one. Indian Summer. 20 Indian inspired designs. Okay, so still mandala. Oh, look at that owl. Isn't that beautiful? That would be a fun one. <sighs> I love it. I love it. Wow. Those are gorgeous. Wow. Okay. After the Storm Clearcast. Okay, we already looked at this a bit. A collection of important quotes on, printed on Crafty Thriven's new AB cast material. Unlike normal Clearcast, AB Clearcast can be used on dark backgrounds. We chose these quotes because they speak to us and add a little push to overcome your circumstances and keep going. So you can use these on dark backgrounds. So they must have a white backing to them. Oh, that is so cool. So cool. This one. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for the stars. Oh, that's pretty. Life is tough, but so are you. Okay. <laughs> Some days I don't feel like it, but okay. <laughs> Shiny, happy people. Oh. And of course, my brain's already going to the song, which I always enjoyed. A uh, two ounce bag of the happiest opalescent apricot chunky mix featuring diamonds and stars for an extra reminder to shine. I'll have to open these up and look at them. Power of positivity. That's pretty. Two ounce bag of metallic dusty purple in a super sparkly 0 0.015 cut. Laugh out loud. Oh, this will this will be mine, and it is. Look, it's it's aqua. Two ounce bag of a bright teal chunky fi chunky slash fine mix with opal and high flash silver chunky flakes. Ooh, pretty. And finally, be bright. Deep dark blue mixed with holographic stars, diamonds, and chunky flakes to make the most beautiful night sky glitter ever. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is beautiful. I want to use this. Okay, let's open them up and look at them up close. There we go. I have done this three times now. So third time's a charm. And this time I remembered to turn on the flipping camera. Okay, this is Be Bright. Up close and personal. That is just stellar, I think is the right word for this one. Just beautiful. This is Shiny Happy People. Very pretty, very shiny, very happy. This is Laugh Out Loud, my personal favorite because the color. <laughs> and I love to laugh. Just like Mary Poppins and Bert. <laughs> Describing all the different kinds of laughter there are. And power of positivity. Look at the metallics. Look at that. Wowzers. This is a gratitude. Very, very beautiful. This is Motivation. I definitely think looks like a champagne gold. Look at how pretty that is. This would make good sand in a, a beach setting also. Resilience. Look 
focused. Must be like that. And finally, inspiration. This is more of a, of a strawberry. So we have shiny, happy people, be bright, power, positivity, laugh out loud, motivation, gratitude, resilience, and inspiration. We have two beautiful marabou inks. We have some pens. We have some beautiful sayings and beautiful artwork that works on black or dark colored cups as well. And we have these gorgeous postcards that can be colored and mailed. Free Spirit and Indian Summer. That is a heck of a box for a company that went through a major, major hurricane event not that long ago. Pretty damn amazing. All right, now I have to figure out what we're gonna do. So stay tuned, I'm gonna think on it for a sec and we'll be right back. Hey everybody, we're back. Okay, I've thought about it. We're gonna try something uh, relatively quick. <laughs> which means it could turn into a total nightmare. Hopefully it won't. So I have a cup. I don't have anything spray painted in a dark blue right now, and I want to get this going. So what I have is a cup that we put uh, alcohol ink on, black alcohol ink and some of the brass accents. And instead of doing what I usually do with the rain or waterfall method, which is hit it with a heat gun, uh, by request, people wanted to know what would happen if I didn't use the heat gun, and this is what happens. So this, the alcohol ink, portion of this has nothing to do with anything except I needed a dark cup in a hurry. So that's why I grabbed this one. It does not have resin on it. So I want to put some resin on here. I'm going to mix up about 20 milliliters and I'm going to pour a bunch of this into it because Sandy over at Sandy's Organized Chaos swears that if you mix even chunky, and this isn't really chunky, it's got some stars in it, but it's not a chunky per se. But if you mix chunky into your resin and you put it on, it'll, it'll dry flat you will get a smooth surface to work with when it cures. And I'm not sure I believe her, even though I've seen her do it a bunch of times. I've never tried it myself, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the Be Bright, and when it cures, we will come back and we will put one of the clear cast, at least one of the clear cast sayings on it, maybe another one on the bottom, and then we'll see, we'll see how it looks. So this is gonna be a fairly simple, straightforward cup, unless something goes wrong, because that can always happen. And we're back. I don't know how I ever could have doubted Sandy, ever, and I, I never will again. <laughs> this is a beautiful, smooth, flat surface I got. I was a little worried uh, because there was white. The base of the cup that I had spray painted white before doing any of the alcohol ink stuff uh, with the black alcohol ink, I was a little afraid that that would, I don't know, look funny, but I actually like it. I like the fact that this background means that the cup itself is not uh, uniform. I think it looks more like outer space that way, to be perfectly honest with you. <laughs> yes, there's, there's nothing uniform about outer space. Um, and I just, oh, the holographic stars and diamonds and oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay, so now we're going to put our decal on since we have this smooth, shiny surface to work with. Let's see, where do I want to put it? I think I'll I take advantage of this. And the one I want to use here is when it rains, look for rainbows. 
when it's dark, look for the stars. I think I want to use that one because of the background we have here. Okay. All right, let's try. There we go. That was much easier. All right. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Okay. And try and get it straight. Taco it. Like that. And then work from the middle out. Oh yeah, that is lovely. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? The hollow and the rainbows. Oh my, that is just beautiful. All right, now we will also put something on the bottom. There. It gives it a nice little touch on the bottom. And I will put a layer of resin with the rainbow. So stay tuned for the big reveal.